Hey you guys, welcome back to another Beyond Crazy video. Tonight for dinner, we are making table nachos. Basically you put foil out, dump all the chips, and then we're gonna make a bunch of like fixings and stuff that the kids can have on top of it, as well as some ground beef. So, let's get this started. Now, tonight we thought it would be awesome if the four boys uh, could help us with cutting. I was worried that they might cut themselves, especially like with Logan and his essential tremors. Tremors? So, I bought some of these. These are basically, they're called cut it gloves. Nope, no cut, no cry. And basically they're a reinforced uh, glove, so you can't actually cut through it. So, I got one for each of them. We have some veggies all out. We're gonna make some avocado. So I'm excited. Let's get this started. All right, boys, what's the first rule of cooking? Wash your hands. Yeah. So they are getting all washed up. I'm gonna start working on getting the meat out of the butcher's paper into the pan. Okay, so tonight is all about knife skills. We have limes, we have tomatoes, we have cilantro, we have jalapeno lettuce, green onions, avocados, red onions. I can't think, I'm getting hungry. You guys, you know the drill. I'm always hungry when we start cooking. Uh, I'm gonna work on the meat. Um, yeah, let's get these boys started on some tasks. Who wants to do jalapenos? I'll do jalapenos. All right, Lucas is on jalapenos. Ryland, you wanted tomatoes? Yeah, All right. limes. Do you want limes? Yeah? He needs straight limes, like he just... So, no. with, with the limes, we're just quartering them. And then people can drizzle on lime juice on their nachos all they want. So we'll also have you do green onions and lettuce, if that's cool. All right, everybody got your gloves? Now, Lucas doesn't have a glove. Lucas actually has some really good knife skills already. Uh, I've been teaching Lucas, or I've taught Lucas for a long time how to use the knife and to hopefully not cut himself. I've received some controversial comments in the past about putting a little bit of water in the bottom of my pan where I'm cooking the meat. Now, if I was prepared like I should have been and I thawed the meat ahead of time, I wouldn't need to use water because then the, the meat would come apart and I could cook it all evenly. Unfortunately, I'm not prepared. So all my meat is frozen. So I'm gonna have to pull it off layer at a time. If you don't have water in the pan, then the meat that comes off or cooks off is going to burn because, and it's gonna cook way faster than the rest of the meat. So it is what it is. Trust me, it tastes great. You drain the, you drain the fat and then throw some seasoning on, you're good to go. I go like this, just cause you know, I feel like it's easier to go back over. And then it just, All right, Chef Tristan, how did he do with the tomatoes? Are they small enough? Not a small size. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a solid good job. Good job. Yeah, I'm gonna give that a solid good job. Not good. Now we've set out these plates to be able to put your cut stuff in, so once you've cut something, go ahead and add it to the plate. Okay, boom. One lime done, feeling good. Feeling good. <laughs> I love it, the sense of accomplishment. Oh, look at you guys all chopping together. The family that chops together stays together. Aww. Tristan's like, that's the cringiest thing I've ever heard. I don't know if you guys did this on purpose, but you guys are literally stall You're standing tallest to shortest, and it's the cutest thing in the camera. I'm just saying. Yeah, he is. Tristan's only taller than me because of his hair. Because of his hair. Actually, maybe you are taller. No, don't say that, bro. You don't have to lie. I'm going to see that video. People get a little bored during some part. Just make a taco bar. I absolutely love nachos. Ever since I've gone gluten-free, nachos is like the one thing at a restaurant that you can pretty much guarantee is going to be gluten-free. Yeah, it's normally on the appetizer menu, but most restaurants serve you a pile of nachos that I can't eat by myself. I love this type of nachos because it's a community thing. We're all gonna be up here grabbing our chips and stuff, and it's gonna give us opportunities to talk as a family. Do you know how to make the pulled pork nachos from Culinary Dropout? Yeah. Oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> those are my favorite, I crave those. I don't know what sauce they use, but it's so freaking good. Come here, I finished! Woo! 
Why is this cabinet always open when they go to film? It drives Crystal crazy. It drives me crazy. <laughs> Okay, so as I was explaining, guys, so now I can flip it over, I scrape off this side, boom. It's not boiling the meat. Now, yes, some of this meat is kind of getting boiled, but it's, I promise, once all of it's broken down, then I can dump the water, and then I can brown the meat like it, everybody likes it. Okay, so we had some cheese left over from Hannah's graduation party, so we're using that cheese. I am requiring Tristan to show me. So I know basically how to make a roux, um, but I want to make a roux and make our own cheese sauce. It does yield better, tastier cheese. Nobody's denying that. So, just so you know. There's still cheese on my face. <laughs> so Tristan was dumping it out and then he filled it with water because we want to like water it down a little bit to stretch it and also to make it a more, yeah, consistency. Anyways, so he was shaking the bottle and some cheese sauce went up and on, on his face and we were like, why didn't we record that? <laughs> it was a little sus. It was a Just little Just a tiny bit <laughs> sus. I was like shaking it right here and all of a sudden it's like, and I was like, looked around to make sure no one saw me. I was like, <laughs> so Tristan, so Grouch, tell us your cooking experience because in our last video of stuffed peppers, people were asking, what's Tristan's experience in the kitchen? Yeah, um, so I've worked in a couple of commercial kitchens. Um, I'm a food and beverage guy myself, uh, just my entire working career since I was like 20 years old. Um, I worked up in the Fountain Hills. I worked at Copperwind Resort, which is a private tennis resort up there. Um, it's a pretty small place. It's about 19 rooms, but it's very high on the food side, so it's like I think price-wise, like entrees are running like 30, 35 bucks over there. So it's definitely like a good place, but it was like one of the like the last like actual genuine kitchens where there's pots and pans flying around the kitchen. You're getting told things straight up. It was definitely not a uh, not the best environment, but it was a learning environment to say the least. <laughs> Guys, I was having a FOMO, and it sounded like so much fun down here. So I'm gonna down here. So you brought all your makeup and you came to have fun with us. Yes. Oh. Now you can sit and talk to me. Now we can talk. Yay! I was gonna say, how do you like his haircut? I really like it. He looks like edgy, and it looks like like he's not trying, but he is. You know what I mean? <laughs> like you're not trying what you are? I, I like it. You like it? It looks, very it looks so different, but I really like it. I do really like it. You did a really good like job. Like you look just young and fresh and... Young? Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely a summer cut. It's very summery. Very summery. Are we almost ready? We are getting close. So a lot of food Dangerously close. Everywhere. Not dangerously. Okay. They only grow in certain Excitedly states. close. True. I'm All right, you guys. I got a couple of different bags of chips. Some people like the Cool Ranch, I'm not a fan. And some people don't like the scoop type, they just like the regular chip type, so. So the normal way of eating tabletop nachos is to drizzle the meat on and then drizzle the cheese on. We have a couple of individuals in the household that don't like specific things. Like, uh, for instance, Rylan is not a cheese fan, so he's like, can you put up cheese on only half of it? So I think we're just going to leave it out like this and then let people, you know, grab or use a spatula or whatever to actually make a plate of nachos. That is beautiful, Rylan. Good job. I have to have, I have, to have tomatoes yeah, on my tacos job, and the nachos. Like my hamburgers, like everything. You love tomatoes? Everything with meat in it. Hats. One of my favorite veggies or fruits is tomatoes. Oh, nice. And olives. <laughs> and avocado. That's awesome. That looks so good. It was worth the wait. Oh. Awesome. This looks good, Jake. Are you going to eat that without it falling over? Is the next question. Oh, nice plate of Barbara. 10 out of 10. Where's your vegetables? <laughs> All right, you guys, this was better than any nachos I've ever had at any restaurant. Definitely try this recipe at home. It's really simple, and it went together quick. And as a family, we got it all cut up. Thank you, Jake. I appreciate <laughs> it. And it's, it's delicious. It is delicious. Love you guys. Catch you in the next one. He eats just plain limes, guys. He loves it. He loves the lime. It's not bad.
There's more limes, Logan. 